Guys, we're here with uh, our patient Aqua, because she couldn't come up with a good fake name. It's Christmas Eve, and Aqua has come in. I'm going to try to get a close-up. Aqua's come in with a complaint of an ingrown toenail. Now, if you're looking at this like I am right now, this doesn't look too bad, and it's really not. What you don't see is, and I'm going to try to do this, is that right on the edge of this nail, it's kind of got a little sharp edge, right? You went to a nail salon recently? You can talk. Yeah. Okay. All right. And now it's got that little bump on the side. It is ingrown just a little bit, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you came to me because you thought you needed to have this cut out, didn't you? Yes. Okay. We're not going to do that today. You know why? It's not that bad. And it's not infected. And I'm going to show you a little technique that can turn this around for you, okay? Okay. So I'm going to get you to hold the camera for me so you can video me showing you what to do. How's that sound? Good. Are you up for the challenge, Miss Aqua? Let's do it. All right. So just on your toe there. Make sure you do, do it right. There you go. All right. So what I'm going to do is I've taken this little cotton-tipped applicator here, and I've just kind of pulled some of the cotton off like this. And you can get a cotton ball and do this, or you can get some, you know, just over-the-counter Q-tips or something like that and just pull a little cotton off. And I've just taken a little bit of it here, and I've just kind of wadded it up like that. Just a little kind of, you know, a quarter of a pea size. And what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to push this little cotton in right here into the nail, or under the nail, excuse me. Does this hurt? Kind of. That does hurt a little bit? Stings a little bit? It's just sensitive. All right. Now, you see how we've done that? Here, let's take it. Let me take it back. I'm going to go come around like that so everybody can kind of see. This is going to be a time. I may have to edit this one. But you can see right there. I've just pushed the cotton right under the corner of the nail right there. So we're giving it a little bit of lift. You see? Mm -hmm. You do, huh? All right, so now when you take a step, instead of your nail cutting down into the toe with every step, it's going to provide a little shock absorber. It's going to provide a little cushioning there so that you don't worsen this. Okay. Okay? Any questions? No. So you're going to do this every day. Take the old one out, put a new one in. And I would tell you in a few days, that toe's gonna be just pretty as can be. Okay. You don't mind if I put this on YouTube, do you? No. You sure? No, I don't mind. Aqua, you're awesome. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You too. Woo! Come on, Gumby, shake it, baby. <laughs> Your nickname Aztec is because you had some cool looking stuff on your shirt. Oh yeah. You're not really Aztec though, probably. No, I got the shirt in Mexico, so it's a nice, nice shirt. Yeah. I can see why you could say that. Yeah. So you bumped your elbow a few months ago. Sure did. Okay, this is the right elbow. And uh, you've been working out and everything since then. Yes, I have. You just don't like the way it looks or just, does it hurt? Yeah, it's more of a um, eyesore. It doesn't even hurt. It's just, I mean, I can't really, you know, I've been putting a brace on it, you know. Sure. But... So it's mostly a cosmetic deal. Yeah, it's, yeah, I it can't be going out on dates like this, you know. No, you like, can't, hey, yeah, what's going on? You know, what's up with you? Yeah, the girls are gonna be like, "What's going on here?" That's some kind of disease. Or something. Yeah, yeah, they don't want to mess with me. <laughs> uh, so what we're gonna do, uh, with your permission, we're gonna video your procedure. But sure. you said fine. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna just inject a little bit of numbing medicine. You'll feel a little bee sting. I'm gonna get the DW to spray some cold spray on that for you. Okay. And then you'll feel this is the tiniest needle we have in the clinic right here. Okay. okay so you'll barely feel it. Right. So we'll numb up a little area. Area. then we'll put mm -hmm. a little bit larger needle in there and we'll aspirate the fluid out okay. right mm -hmm. uh, and if it looks unusual we'll send it off for a culture but I suspect this is just gonna be a serous effusion just from uh, a lecronon bursitis and mm -hmm. an effusion mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll squirt a little cortisone in there and we'll wrap it for you and you should be oh, good to go sounds good all right the DW has arrived do you have the cold spray what gauge needle do you want on the, um, 18 on the camera oh is eight, we'll use the same 18 you got the curved hemostat for me. You did great. You are ready to she's go. On it. She's right. all over it. Yeah, she's she's a super nurse. Yeah, yeah, she's on it. Gumby Jean, come back soon. Bless you. Yes, please, Gumby Jean, come back soon. All right, give me a little cold spray right right there. There you go. All right. That's good. A little stick. How's he gonna feel? Mm -hmm. Stick sting in a bone. Oh yeah, she been wanting to say that. Not really. I don't think she has. But. <laughs> There you go. We'll let that go in there. I'm going to hand that back off to you. There we go. Good. You want an 18 on this? I do, thank you. 
So you were asking about my weekend last weekend. I took the darling daughter, mm -hmm. the famous Abby, and we took the, the boat and we got out on the West Bay. Mm -hmm. Do you know where Bastrop Bay is? Bastrop Bay. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, mm -hmm. we, got, we got stuck oh, no. on an oyster reef in the middle of Bastrop oh. Bay. Can I get a four by four, please? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we literally are sitting there with the boat just kind of rocking. And she's like, Dad, what are we going to do? And I said, well, looks like I'm going to have to get out of the boat. Get out the boat. And she's Push. thinking, oh, no. Uh -oh. So all she sees is, sees is the bay and the water all over, right? <laughs> I stepped out of the boat, and literally the water did not go over my oh, ankle. And I'm standing there, and she's oh. like, okay, that's unusual. Yeah, oh, my god. So I just had to give it just a little bit of a nudge, and, the, and it came right off of there. Oh, my Hopefully gosh. you won't feel any pain here. Mm, it's all right. If you feel a little bit of pain, I apologize. So this is about three months old. And when it's older like this, sometimes the fluid's a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a little thicker. Mm -hmm. But we'll get it. So this is serosanguinous, which means it's kind of a, a, a light, pinkish, bloody kind of color. Mm -hmm. But it's not wanting to come out very well. We'll keep trying, though. You're right. not on yet. There we go. Now okay. you can move out of the way. And we're just going to squirt a little in there, just like that. Mm -hmm. And we'll pull that out. How was that? Was that oh, particularly that painful? Bad. No. One to ten, I would say four. Five. Out of four, I had a couple little painful mm -hmm. spots, but we got quite a bit oh, of that. Wow. Huh? Man, I was just lingering in there, huh? Yeah, that's what you've been walking around with. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. We're going to call him Band Man. Band Man. Band Man. Good to see you this morning. Have I seen you before recently? No, no. All right. And uh, where are you going to school? Uh, I'm not currently in school right now. But you're going to be? Maybe. I don't know if I can afford it. Okay. But I, that. I completely understand. And I had to borrow my way all the way through. Yeah. Beg, borrow, and work. Yeah, I have yeah. work, though. Okay. So you've got a form here for me. This is sort of like a school physical, but uh, you're in the band, so you play an instrument? Mm -hmm. Do you? Or, or are you? Okay. What do you play? Uh, I play snare drum. Snare drum. Cool. Okay. Uh, are there any artists that inspire you? Um, not really. My dad's one that really got me into it. Yeah. One of the things that is sort of, you know, a lot of people don't realize is that people with attention deficit disorder tend to be very intelligent people. The people with ADD are, are not slow or anything like that. In fact, their minds work really quickly, and as a result, they just get bored very fast, and they move on to the next thing, and they don't want to get back to what they've been working on because they find it terribly boring or for whatever reason, they don't want to finish things, okay? So people with ADD also have lots of unfinished projects. How about you? Do you have a lot of unfinished projects? I've been putting off learning this two sheets of music that I have to learn by yep. next week. I've had two weeks to learn it, and yep. I've been saying I gotta learn it this day, and as soon as I get to it, yep. I'm just like, I just wanna sleep, or I just wanna, yeah. I would just get off of work, and I so, don't have to do literally anything else. Procrastinate. Yeah. Yeah. And almost anything else is, you stuff that you would ordinarily not wanna do, you would rather do now, yeah. than do the thing you know you need to do. Too Interesting. Much. Okay, all right. So uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, give you the test, but I'm pretty sure you're going to come up positive, and if you are, we're going to start you on some medicine this morning, okay? All right, so let's listen to your lungs and your heart here real quick. Have you do some funny things for us? Do you ever uh, notice that you get any palpitations or racing heartbeat? Only when it comes to the doctors, really. You, well, you drink those energy drinks and stuff? No, okay. I do not. I do not like this. Um, when I was in school, um, yeah. I was very nervous a lot. Um, I would have, I don't know the difference between like panic attack or um, mm -hmm. anxiety attack, but like I would just like not be able to talk and I kind of just feel like frozen mm -hmm. when I'm like or just around a bunch of people. It hasn't happened recently because I'm not around a bunch of like new people ever. Okay. But it, it was like that when I was in school. So the difference between panic and anxiety is actually not a very big difference. Anxiety is sort of the chronic condition. Panic is like an acute phase. It's something that happens all of a sudden. Panic attacks like shortness of breath, chest pain, heaviness, dry mouth, blurry vision, tingling and numbness around the lips and the fingertips and sometimes the toes, upset stomach, nausea, a feeling of impending doom. Something bad is happening to my body right now. Something bad, I'm dying. Something bad, I gotta get out of here. That's a panic attack. Anxiety is just this 
continuous general feeling of unease that continues on uh, with some of those symptoms, but not all of those symptoms. So you're always worrying, you're always thinking about things, you're ruminating, which just means you're thinking over and over about things that you have no control over, things like that. That would be anxiety. Somebody that doesn't have the money but has a tax bill due, they could begin to worry every day and develop an anxiety syndrome or an anxiety case about that. That might be an example of just generalized anxiety. Panic attack would be, it's the day before uh, the taxes are due and all of a sudden your heart's pounding out of your chest and you can't drink anything and you're shaking and, and you're jittery to the point where you end up going to the emergency room because you're pretty sure you're dying. So, so some of the things are, are very similar um, and some of it's just an exacerbation of like the chronic state. Let's do that again. Take a deep breath and hold it. Okay, blow it out. I want you to take a deep breath for me. Good, blow it out again. Again. Okay, great. I want you to stand up right up here by the door. Mr. Band Man. All right, I want you to face me. I want you to point your index finger straight out. Tilt your head back about 15 degrees. Close your eyes. Touch the tip of your nose with the tip of your right finger. Come on. Good job. Put it back out there. And this time with the left. Okay, great. You can open eyes, uh, put your hands down. I want you to walk heel touching toe, just toward me a little bit, heel to toe. Good, good job. All right, now I want you to turn around and I want you to squat all the way down. Squat down all the way down to your ankles. This is a tough one, I'm adjusting the camera. I want you to duck walk for me. This is a great way to check for ankle and hip and knee problems. And some balance issues too. You have trouble with balance? No, it's just my knees. They okay. Oh, yeah, you did tell me you had some knee issues. Okay. All right. You can come on back up. That's fine. So we are going to document uh, the fact that you've had some knee trouble. Did you have an operation on a knee? No. I no. just have excess fluid on the Just a little trouble with the knees. Are you taking any kind of anti-inflammatories or anything like that? No. Well, we, we may want to talk about a joint support, you know, a product that might help you. Okay? Yeah, I usually wear knee braces um, yeah. when I'm actually, like, marching and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But... Um, they only do so much. Okay, there's a couple more things we're going to check off camera, but um, you've been really interesting. Thanks for sharing your uh, visit this morning with our friends on YouTube. Thank you. All right, bud. Stay tuned for the Meta 7 video. In your own words, tell us your experience with Meta 7. Oh my goodness, it, I have a lot more energy, um, a lot more focus. I can go longer throughout the day without getting tired. I love it. I, I, I recommend it to everybody that I know. Do you feel artificial? Do you feel like you've taken a stimulant of some kind when you no. take it? You feel no. natural? Very natural. No I jitter? Feel, no, jittery. very healthy, very natural. Wonderful. Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's right. Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I just reordered a 90 day supply. I have more energy and I'm in a better mood. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great, I love it. And um, take it, it's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.